In this video, we're doing a battery drain test between iOS 26 and iOS 18 on every supported iPhone generation. Battery performance is probably the number one concern people have about updating to iOS 26, so we're putting it to the test in this video. So I conducted this test over the course of two days by performing this same set of tasks on these six iPhones on iOS 18, then I updated all these iPhones to iOS 26 and performed the exact same set of tasks again on iOS 26, and I'm showing both of these tests on screen throughout this video. So I used the very same iPhones for both the iOS 18 and the iOS 26 test. This way, it's the most accurate as the same devices with the very same batteries are put to the test on each iOS version, which is important as unless you're literally unboxing a brand new iPhone, Every individual iPhone out there has a different level of battery degradation. Other than that, I've done my best to ensure everything is identical on both the iOS 18 test and on the iOS 26 test. The brightness levels are evenly matched and each iPhone is connected to the same cellular network and Wi-Fi network for both the iOS 18 and the iOS 26 tests. So far, iOS 26 is pretty consistently losing a bit more battery than iOS 18 on every iPhone model, some with a larger margin of difference than others. Generally speaking, it's very important in battery tests to observe the amount of percentage lost at each check-in rather than just just paying attention to the total battery percentage remaining, as if one task has some variable that throws things off a bit and one iOS version ends up losing more battery than normal doing one specific thing, you won't falsely get the impression that the battery performance is worse overall if it lost a lot of battery just doing one specific thing in a specific scenario. However, I will say iOS 26 is consistently losing just a little bit more battery than iOS 18 after each different task or testing. It's not super drastic, but that difference adds up throughout hours of usage as you're seeing, with the iOS 26 battery levels starting to slip a bit on some devices. And guys, iOS 26 was just released, and with it being such a massive update this year, there's a lot of reasons you might want to downgrade back to iOS 18. As you've seen throughout this test so far on several of my iPhones, I've experienced worse battery performance after updating to iOS 26. I've also encountered some bugs, issues, and device slowness. And if you've ran into similar problems, you can roll back to iOS 18 for now until iOS 26 receives some additional optimization updates before upgrading again. And Wondershare's Dr. Phone conveniently offers a very safe and easy way to downgrade back to iOS 18, and they actually sponsored today's video. Typically, downgrading from one iOS version back to an older one can be quite complex and messy, but with Dr. Phone, the process is very streamlined and requires just a few clicks. I've already tried this out for myself, so let me show you the process. After downloading Dr. Phone to your Windows or Mac computer, open it up, then connect your iPhone to your computer via USB, and to go to System Repair, then iOS Update slash Downgrade, then click Downgrade iOS. Then follow the steps to perform a backup of your data right within Dr. Phone, as downgrading will remove all your data. After the backup is complete, you can proceed with downloading the iOS 18 firmware file. Once the download is complete, click Repair Now, and the downgrade process will begin. After the process is complete, click Done, and just like that, you're back on iOS 18. You can then restore all your data back onto your iPhone using Dr. Phone, and after completing the setup process, you're back up and running on iOS 18 ready to go. Now you can use the familiar iOS 18 until iOS 26 receives some additional optimization updates and gets a little more stable, and then you could upgrade again whenever you want. And I also wanted to mention, if you guys get this error message stating the contents of your iPhone could not be read when trying to connect your iPhone to your computer after downgrading, it's super easy to fix. Just open up Dr. Phone, go to to files, then iTunes control, then iTunes, and then you want to create a backup of all the files in here just in case. You'll likely never need them though. I recommend creating a folder on your desktop, then delete all of them, then restart your computer and your iPhone, and then you'll be able to connect like normal. So if you're looking for the safest and easiest way to downgrade from iOS 26 back to iOS 18, click on the link in the video description down below to check out Wondershare's Dr. Phone. And quick note, this downgrade method won't work for 
forever, as several weeks after Apple releases a new iOS update, they always stop signing the previous iOS update, making downgrades no longer possible. So I'll leave a note in the video description down below, letting you know if this method is still working or not. Big thanks to Wondershare's Dr. Phone for making downgrading back to iOS 18 so easy. And guys, I just want to note that the way you should interpret the results of this battery test is quite different than the average battery test on the channel, as with this test, you shouldn't be focusing on how the battery performance of the iPhone models compare to one another. The whole purpose of this video is to compare the iOS version, so you want to pay attention to the performance of each individual iPhone model on iOS 18 in comparison to that same iPhone model on iOS 26. And I say this because the iPhones that I'm using in this video are not brand new iPhones. These are iPhones that I've had for years that I use in the studio for my typical reviews throughout the whole year. So the batteries in each of these iPhones have different levels of battery degradation, which wouldn't make for a fair iPhone battery test comparison. For the past couple years for my iPhone battery tests, when I'm comparing iPhones to each other, I use brand new iPhones with brand new batteries for those videos to ensure accuracy when comparing iPhone models to each other. Since this video is specifically comparing iOS versions to each other, the iPhones used in this video don't need to be brand new. Also, the task of finding new iPhones for these much older models would be pretty close to impossible. It's just important that I let you guys know of this so you don't falsely interpret the results of each iPhone's battery performance. I hope that all makes sense. So as we get further and further into the test here, we start to see some of the iPhones die with iOS 18 outlasting iOS 26 on all of them. It's a bit concerning to see as iOS 26 for the most part loses a little more battery on each iPhone than iOS 18 does. It's not like an egregious amount of battery lost at each check-in. However, again, towards the end of the test, you start to see how that seemingly small difference adds up over the course of a day of usage. So my results here definitely show that iOS 26 takes a certainly noticeable hit on battery performance. This is honestly a bigger difference than I was expecting for this test. And yeah, I'm curious if this is just because iOS 26 was just released, it's very early on. Uh, if this is a consistent issue, obviously I hope Apple improves upon this with iOS 26.1, 26.2, and so on. But let me know your guys' experience down below in the comments if your experience is similar or if you know your battery performance is exactly the same on iOS 26 in comparison to iOS 18. And if you guys wanna see a battery comparison between iOS 26.1 and 26.0, when 26.1 comes out, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.